your way once again make sure you stay glued to your sets and listen to every word that comes out of the man of God this week we are looking at the goodness of God part two make sure you do not let anything distract you you listen and soak in the word for today and then also make sure you like you subscribe and you share it with all your friends and loved ones time with Papa Jay of God, I can see that I will be able to walk through the day. Why? Because when I know that my God is good, why should I worry about anything? Because he's the answer. He is the bridge over the angry waters. He is the doctor in the theater room. He is the lawyer in the courtroom. He is my advocate. Yes. He is the armor bearer. You, he is the great physician. He is the champion of all champions. He is the almighty God, El Shaddai. He is Elohim. Thank yes, Lord. Lord. El Elyon, most high God. Thank you, Lord. He is my God. Yes. Therefore, if I know all this, mm -hmm. and Jesus had spoken into the lives of the disciples, yes. something happened, and Jesus became a bit confused. Mm. The Bible says in the book of Mark, chapter 4, verse 35, having done miraculous acts, Having fed the 5,000 excluding women and children, one day Jesus said to the disciples, mm -hmm. that evening, the same day, let us cross over to the other side. Thank you, Lord. So the Bible says they got into the boat. Who spoke to the disciples? Jesus. Now, who spoke to the disciples? Jesus. Oh, come on, come on. Why are you sitting there? I said, who spoke to the disciples? Jesus spoke to them. What did he say to the disciples? Let us cross over to the other side. It was Jesus speaking to the disciples. Yes. And if Jesus said, let us cross to the other side, that means no matter what. Yes. No matter what. Yes. No matter what. Yes. No matter what. Yes. If Jesus has said that 2019, you will cross over yes. until 2020. If Jesus yes. has spoken that 2019, it yes. shall be well with you. If Jesus has said that 2019, your bands of friends will be full. No matter what the situation, it shall come to pass. I prophesy over you yes. that 2019, you will leave to cross over. Everything that will yes. come your way, you will cross over. You will yes. cross over poverty. You will cross Thank over diseases. You will cross over a 
affliction, Amen. you cross no. over shame. Why? Because Jesus said so. Yes. Amen. The Bible says in the book Amen. of Isaiah chapter 3 verse 10, mm. and that is a prophetic utterance that God has given to me to tell somebody sitting down here. He says, tell the righteous, it shall be well. Yes. It shall be well. Yes. It shall be well. Yes. You are the righteous. Amen. And this afternoon, I have an announcement for you from the throne room of Elohim. This year, it shall be well. It shall be well. It shall be well. Why? Because Jesus says so. He said, let us cross over. Cross over. If master says cross over, that is it. No on. matter what the storms, uh -huh. but look at the attitude of the disciples. Mm -hmm. And I pray mm -hmm. that this year it will not be your portion. You will not stoop that low. You will not go that low. You will not dishonor the word of God. Because what the master has said will surely come to pass. Amen. We are crossing over are crossing every over. barrier, every hindrance, every barrier, yes. every hindrance. Yes. We shall cross over. We shall cross over. Yes. Whether the devil like it or not, come on we shall cross over. We will cross every over. Arrow. Every arrow. We shall cross over. We shall cross every over. Arrow. Every we shall arrow. Cross we shall cross over. Every fear. Every we shall cross over. Every pestilence. Yes. We shall cross over Man. every plague. Yeah. We shall cross over. Amen. We shall cross over economic Amen. recession. Yes. We shall cross over yes. in the name of Jesus. And they were crossing over. Uh -huh. And all of a sudden, storm came. Mm. But I want you to take the attitude of Jesus. Uh -huh. As soon as Jesus said, We're going to cross over, he went down the stand and slept. Is somebody understanding me? He went down below the boat and slept. Why? Because Elohim had told him. Aye, 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 aye. Are you understanding me? This year, that should be your attitude. Yes. I'm not saying you're going to sleep 24-7. But you will take the promises of God and stand on it. And then say to the devil, devil, I know who I am. Yes, yes. And you say to your soul, be still Come on. and know yes. that I am God. Ah, yeah, yeah. No matter what, be Come still on. and know that I am yes. God. So the disciples started panicking. That is the spirit that my son was speaking about. The spirit of the Leviathans. That spirit, that brings fear. When that spirit is spoiled upon you, fear grips you. Mm. Uncertainty grips you, mm. anxiety grips you, mm. and when that fear spread is upon you, you begin to manifest everything that the spirit will ask you to manifest. Mm. And Job, who was so much blessed, Come on. and Job, the Bible says, feared God, and yet inside of his heart, this spirit was working against him. Anytime Job woke up, he was afraid. Anytime yes. Job woke up, he was fearful for his children. Yes. Anytime Job woke up, he was concerned about his children, concerned about his business, concerned about his earth. Uh -huh. That spirit will make you become so fearful. Mm. But this year, but this year, yes. Yes. but this year, come on this what year. the Lord has said is that which will come to pass in my life. In the name of Jesus, yes. I speak fear out of your heart. Amen. I cast out the spirit of Leviathan. Yes. I cast the spirit of Leviathan from you. I cast the spirit of anxiety from you. Yes. I cast the spirit of anxiety, yes. of depression. I cast them out of your heart. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So the disciples panic because of the angry waves. When the master of peace is with you, are you understanding me, somebody? Yes. Oh. Yes. Ah. Every spirit that will manifest itself this year for you to panic, I rebuke that spirit. Amen. Every spirit that will show up his head for you to panic, I rebuke that spirit. Amen. Any failure, any failure, calamity, anxiety, yes. depression, mm. discouragement ba, 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 that is following you from 2018 God. into your 2019. We cast it out. out. We cast it out. 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 We cast it out. Out. In the name of Jesus. Name yes. of Jesus. Yes, Lord. They were panicking according to the story. But Jesus woke up and Jesus said, that is in the book of Mark mm. from chapter, chapter 4 verse 35 going. And Jesus was angry. He stood up. Where and he said, face? peace be still. Peace be still. Because he's the master of all. Yes. Peace. My goodness. I pray 
that this year, when the storms of life arise in you, the master will show up and yes. speak peace unto peace. your situation. When the storms peace. of life arise Come on over your children, Michael. the master of peace will show up. Yes. Will show up. Yes. Will show up. You know what this year? Peace. I know he doesn't sleep mm. because, because he's, he's God. Yes. But I know somewhere in the Bible that he doesn't sleep. He yes. that watches over Israel, he doesn't sleep. This year, even if he used to sleep, uh -huh. Prince Gate Temple will not allow him to sleep. But my God. We will wake him up. Come on now. I yes. said we will wake Elohim up oh. with our prayer. Yes. We will wake him up. Come on now. With our morning prayer. Yes. yes. We will wake him up. Come on now. With our evening prayers. My God. Every time that storm, God. we will wake God up. Yes. We will not allow him to Come sleep. On. We will scream. Yeah. We will scream. showed up. Yes. Why do you think the master will have to show up when we are faced with storms? Because the Bible says in Psalm 23 verse 1, mm -hmm. the Lord is, is my, my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. In the NIV version it says the Lord is my shepherd mm. I shall not lack anything. Yes. Mm. I shall lack nothing. You're smiling. He says, the, he says, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall lack nothing. nothing. Well, I was trying nothing. to find the meaning of lack nothing lack from nothing. The, 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 the best dictionary. Uh -huh. The meaning I got was the same. Lack nothing. Mm -hmm. Simple. <laughs> lack nothing. <laughs> the meaning of lack nothing is, is lack, lack what? Nothing. nothing. No thing. Hey. Power. He's our shepherd. Yes. You know, shepherd, what do they do? Shepherd watches over sheep. Yes. Sheep are the most vulnerable animals. At times they can be very stupid. Sheep don't yes. have they don't have sense. Uh -huh. They don't have sharp teeth to uh -huh. fight and defend. They don't have claws to defend themselves mm -hmm. like lions and tigers do. Sheep are very vulnerable. Mm -hmm. And and if care is not taken over them, uh, they can be eaten by wild animals. Yes. They can fall down. They, Sheep are very, very, they need caring. Yes. Mm. That is why there's somebody called a shepherd. A shepherd defends. Shepherd, shepherd. I want you to write this three down. Mm. The work of a shepherd. Yes. Every shepherd provide the needs. Yes. Number one, provide or meet needs. Yes. Shepherd leads. Needs. And shepherd feeds. Feeds. Every shepherd, they provide, they meet needs. Meet the needs. Yes. And then they lead. They lead. And then they feed. And they feed. Yes, yes, yes. yes. That is the function of a shepherd. That's true. So as you are sitting down here as a father, you are a shepherd. Lead, lead. Because you lead your family. You yes. feed your family. Yes. As a mother, you feed your family. Yes. Uh, you, you, you meet needs. So yes. you are a shepherd. Yes. That's you right. see, that's the right. Greek meaning of a shepherd yes. is a pastor. Yes. The meaning, that's the it. Greek meaning of a shepherd is a pastor. Oh, so right. as I'm standing here, I am a shepherd. Yes. Why? Because I meet your spiritual needs. Yes. I, 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 I feed you with the you word of God. And, and, I, and I lead you. Yes. Yes, shepherd. Powerful. Yes, yes, yes. Somebody called me and they said, Daddy, Friday night something happened. I said, what happened? He said, Friday night, about 1.30 to 2 a.m., I saw you. I said, hang on, you saw me? He said, yeah, Daddy, I saw you. I saw you. And I was going through, so I said, Friday, what time? He said, about 1.30 to 2 a.m. And I said, you saw me? He said, yeah, I saw you. I was going through so much, and in my dream, they wanted to eat me alive. And all of a sudden, you appeared. Yes. I said, "My goodness, man, I, I, I don't know. I don't. I, how many of you have you, have you seen me in your dreams before? My goodness, yes, yes, yes." He said, "Daddy, I saw you in my ah, and uh -huh. as soon as you appeared, they vanished." Uh -huh. mm. Mm. That is a work of a shepherd. Yes. yes. You yes. might not see. That's but it. shepherds play an important role. Yes. But I've got news for somebody sitting down here. Uh -huh. God is our good shepherd. Yes. Is good God is the great shepherd. shepherd. Yes. Ah, Pastor 
that Joseph is a shepherd, but Jesus is the good shepherd. Come on. Yes. Because he leads me. Yes. And he feeds me. Yes. And he meets my need. Come on. Ah, he that watches over Israel will not slumber, my nor God. sleep. Yeah. He will not allow the sun to my smite God. you. Ah, the moon to hurt you. Why? Because he is a good shepherd. I have an announcement for somebody who is sitting down here, yes. disillusioned. Yes. I want you to understand you have a good shepherd. shepherd. You have a good shepherd. Quickly, because we are behind time. The Lord is our good shepherd. And there are three facts that I want you to know about the good shepherd. Ah, Number one, the good shepherd, the Lord is a good shepherd. Because, number one, because everything that I need yes. comes from God. Yes, everything. Everything. He is a good shepherd because everything I need comes from him. That is why he's a good shepherd. And if everything that I need comes from him, true. that means I don't have to depend on man. If no. I know that God is a good shepherd, and that everything that I need, I need, you need, uh -huh. comes from him. Uh -huh. All good and pleasant blessings Come on comes from above. Yes. Yes. All good blessings comes from above. Come on it is the hands of Elohim that provides. Come on it is not by the strength of man that a man should prevail. My Lord, my ah, the Bible says in the book of Josh, uh, uh, Jeremiah chapter 17 verses 5 and 8, it says, Can't be any man who put his trust In a man. Because the arm of flesh will fail you. Yes. Mm. The only person that I can depend on, mm. lean on, I hold on to, anchor to, Abba, is Abba. God. Yes. Is God. Yes. When my son, Prince Cash, landed here yes. and came to my house, come and see, wonders will not stop, seizing, will not cease. Hey! The kind of genes that this man had, the kind of. He had it, this one, big one, here. Here. And then, the kind of boot. And then, sat down in front of me. And I look at him. And I look at the wife. And I told the wife, I said, why did you allow him to come before me like this? From that day, my son has changed. Somebody say, hey! hey! Don't put your trust in man. Man can fail you. I need comes from him. I said God is a good shepherd. Uh -huh. Why? Because everything that I need yes. comes from him. Mm. It doesn't come from my mama. Come it doesn't on. come from my pastor. Come it doesn't come from my elders. Yes. It doesn't come from the church. My it doesn't God. come from my strength. Come everything on. that I need, mm. everything that I need, yes. everything that I need yes. comes from Elohim. Elohim. Yes. That is why he's a good shepherd. Yes. Number two, God is a good shepherd. Because God has limitless supply chain for all yes. that I need. Yes. Powerful. Yes. Somebody will scream, Amen. 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 God is a good shepherd because He has a limitless supply chain. Limitless. For my needs. Anything that I need, He is capable. He is capable. I said, yes. number one, He will supply all that I need. Yes. Number two, He has the ability to supply. Yes. Because He has limitless mm. supply chain. Limitless. Mm. At times when you go to the food store and you look at the shelves, they will place something there out of stock. Yes. Even John Lewis yes. can fail you. Mm. How much less uh, Nelly? Mm. Oh, Nelly. Because even I, even I can't pronounce the name. Yes, yes. Why? The Bible says in Philippians chapter 4, verse 9, it says, And my God Shall supply, shall supply oh. some of my knees, some of my knees, oh. half of my knees, no. quarter of my knees. Because he has a limitless supply chain, yes. he can supply all oh. the my ugly, knees. the good, and the bad, oh. the big and the small, oh. the medium and the fat. Yes. God has the power, the oh. ability, the yes. supply chain to meet everything oh. that I need. In other words, nothing surprises God. My yes. God. Yes. Oh. This year, may God supply you all that you need. 
In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Because the, the, threat, the threat thing is that because God is good, mm. he doesn't want me to worry about anything. No. Nope. That's right. Number one, all that I need, Pastor James, comes from him. Number two, he has the limitless supply chain to meet all my needs. That, and then, and because of that, yes. he doesn't want you, his daughter, his son, to go about worrying. No. Mm. Mm -hmm. no. Mm. If the worldly people, mm. if the people of the world, mm. if they are crying, mm. and you are crying, mm. what is the difference between you and uh -huh. them? Jealous. Don't you realize that when there was darkness in Egypt, That's there right. was light, light in Russia. That's right. Light. Hey. The light. difference between you and the worldly my people God. is like day and light. It my is. God, day God. and night. It is. Your God doesn't want you to worry. The Bible says in the book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 6a. Yes. And, 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 and in the message translation, I like it so much. Mm. In the message translation, he says, don't fret or uh -huh. worry. Instead of worrying, play, pray. Yes. He yes. says, don't, 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 don't worry. Uh -huh. Don't be alarmed. Don't be anxious. Instead of worrying, pray. In the King James, New King James Version, he says what? Be, be anxious, anxious for nothing. But in everything by prayer, prayer. and supplication, yes. with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Yes. Like he says, don't fret or worry. Uh -huh. Instead of worrying, pray. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Pray and don't panic. Thank you, Lord. Worship and don't worry. Yes. yes. The moment you pray, the panic will run away. Mm. The moment you worship, worry will run away. Why? Because God is your shepherd. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. You know, Jesus has a reason mm -hmm. why he doesn't want you to worry. Mm. Jesus has given us five reasons why we should not worry. Mm -hmm. Number one, the reason why you should not worry is because worrying is unreasonable. Ah. Oh, one person said amen. God bless you, Edda Collect. Worrying is unreasonable. It's irrational. Worry does not it make sense. It doesn't, no. It is not logical. No. If I'm joking, if I'm lying, go to somebody who, who worry a lot and ask him, look at his face. Mm -hmm. The Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 6, verse 20, Five. He said, therefore, I tell you, do not worry about your life, mm -hmm. what you will eat, or what you will drink, or what you will put on. Why? Because worrying is unreasonable. You know why at times worrying is unreasonable? Mm -hmm. At times we worry over trivial things. That's true. You see, the reason why worrying at times is unreasonable is that at times we worry over stupid things that, and it. trivial things. That's it. The law says we, are, we should not worry. Mm -hmm. But if you are going to worry, if you choose to worry, worry about something that are important. Yes, that's right. Because we worry over unnecessary things at times. Tiny things. Trivial things. Petty things. Petty, petty things. And at times we worry about things that we cannot change. Mm -hmm. When the doctor called me and in front of her told me, Joseph, I didn't say that I've got prostate cancer. She told me they have found out that I've got prostate cancer. Mm. But that, 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 that wouldn't change. So as soon as she said to me, straight then, first thing that came to me, my mind, mama was sitting beside me, true, was Matthew chapter 6. Straight away, the spirit of God brought this into my heart. My son, don't, don't worry. As, as, as I look at her, and instead of whinging, Instead of lamenting, instead of crying, I smiled. And she was shocked. She looked at me. said, why are you smiling? I said, I'm not smiling because I'm happy. I, I'm, I'm just listening to you. I did not allow her prognosis or diagnosis to bring fear into me. Because whether I cried, whether I threw out, whether I fell, whatever, whether I was rolling on the floor, that would not change 
the prognosis or diagnosis. It will stay stand. I will cry my eyes out and the diagnosis will stay stand. I will scream my eyes out and the diagnosis will stay stand. I will go and drink every kind of uh, alcohol and diagnosis will stay stand. It will not change. So why do I worry about something that I don't have power to change? Only my shepherd, only my shepherd, only my shepherd has the power and the ability to change it. Oh, I'm here to talk to somebody sitting down here. The reason why you don't have to worry, the reason why worry is unreasonable, the reason why worry is unreasonable is yes. that, you know what? One day, the angels of God visited Mary and gave Mary some mind-blowing prophecy. Mary was confused. This young girl, at the age of 15, was getting ready for his, her wedding. Yes. At that time, in the Middle Eastern Palestine, they used, the girls used to marry from even 14. Yes. Mm -hmm. So Mary was getting ready for her wedding, mm -hmm. only to be told by an angel, destroy all her plans. Mm -hmm. Destroy all the wedding plans. Mm -hmm. Then you are now going to be impregnated by somebody called the Holy Ghost. And true to the story, Mary became pregnant. Mm. If it was to be me, I'll be confused because all my plans for the year has been turned upside down. And so I will have right to be worried. The business is not going well. I have every right to be worried. My health is not going well. I have every right to be worried. Yes. I'm not able to pay my mortgage. I have every cause to be worried. Mm. But instead of Mary worrying over the situation, Mary chose to magnify the Lord. Yes. Mary sang and said, my soul, magnify the Lord. Yes. That was the first time I heard that song apart from Mo uh, David. Mm -hmm. What am I saying? When you are worried and you dwell too much on your worry, you magnify your worry yes, you bigger do. than God, mm. mightier than God, mm. awesome that you see the problem as bigger than God. That's what and happens. the more you magnify the problem, the bigger the problem becomes. Mm -hmm. Yes. I will preach it. Yes, it's true. Am I talking to somebody here? I want you to understand 2019, situation would arise, anxiety will come, perplexity may come. Difficulties may come, but when they come, uh, don't look to your God through your problems. Look to your problems through your God. And when you look to your problem through your God, yes. your God will become bigger than your problem. Yes. Your God will become bigger than your problem. Somebody yes. say, I will magnify my God. I will magnify my God. So the first reason why worrying is un unreasonable is because worry is not good. It's because worry is unreasonable. Mm -hmm. Number two. Worry is abnormal. Abnormal. Or unnatural. Unnatural. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. When I speak the Ghanaian English and he changes it, it's yes, I'm like it here. Yeah. yeah, help me out, son. <laughs> Worry is abnormal and unnatural. Uh -huh. Let me give you a scenario here. Out of all the creation of the world, including you and me, Jesus, our God, created the trees the cows, the moon, the dog, everything, and you are included. Isn't it, sir? Yes, out of all the creation, only human beings are the only species yes. that rebels against God through worry. It's true. That is why worry, according to the nature of God's creation, worry is not natural. Yep. It's not part of the creation. Because dogs don't worry. No. Have, have you seen dog looking for? Back home in Africa, we see them. They don't look for, they don't go to bed and breakfast. Oh, I've got a girlfriend, so I want to film. On the streets, they'll do whatever they want to do. Uh -huh. Man, good. Now, here, we don't see them here. I don't understand why. When I came here, this is another thing I didn't never saw here. In fact, I brought you in. Hi. They round them up. Hey! Yes. Hey! Hey! Ghana, Have you seen a dog? Worry is unnatural. Why? Because, the, because 
because the Bible, the Bible says in the, in the same Matthew chapter 6, verse 20 says, he says, the best of the air, they did not sow. Or spin. He is talking about what nature. Mm -hmm. The flowers, the air, the best in the air, the flowers, the trees, mm -hmm. the cows, they don't worry about anything. No. The only thing that worry is that thing, that species that has the image of God in him. Mm. The only thing that God took time and created and breathed unto him, that thing that is not supposed to worry, it is only that thing, that species that has chosen to worry in rebelling against God. Mm -hmm. So yeah. when you worry, it's unnatural. Because that is not how God created uh, uh, his creation. To worry. Am I talking to somebody here? Oh, you're quiet because all of you worry. Mm. So today, if, 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 if your husband is worried, tell him, you are not natural. Mm -hmm. Are you getting me? Mm -hmm. Yes. Because the bears don't worry. Nope. The sheep don't worry. Nope. Why should you worry? Yes. You are part of God's creation. And God did not create us to worry. That's Say right. to somebody, worrying is unnatural. Worrying is unnatural. Number three. Sin. The reason why worry is not good is that worry is not helpful. Worry is unhelpful. It's yes. worthless. It's useless. Yeah, it is useless. You gain nothing. In the verse 27, he says, that is Matthew chapter 6, verse 26. He says, 27, he says, who of you, by worrying, can add a single hour to his life? Uh huh. That's what I'm saying. If you worry, it's, un it's unhelpful. Yep. Manka is broken down and you are worried. If it's broken down and you are worried, would that car be repaired by being worried? Yep. Is somebody understanding me? Mm. Am I helping somebody sitting down here today? Yes. If you take this message and you live by this message, your life will change throughout this yes. whole year. You know what? The enemy has come to steal and to destroy and to kill our joy. But yes. because we know the secret things and the dark sayings of yes. God, we are taking the words of God and the words of God are like medicine unto our bones, yes. like medicine unto our body. And therefore, yes. we are being healed. Yes. You will not worry this year. Yeah. Worry. worry is unhelpful. Worry doesn't work. Worry does not change anything. Some of us, we worry about our past. You can worry about your past. Your past is past. Being worried will not change your past. Mm -hmm. Some of us, we worry about our future. You can worry sick. But your worry can never control your future. No. All that worry does is that it mess our today, messes up our today. It does. Messes up our today. And so stop, stop worrying about your past. What you did in your past is gone. The blood has washed it. They can say whatever they want to say. Yes. You are a brand new creation. Yes. All things are past. Yes. All things are past. Yes. All failures are past. All shame are past. Amen. I am a brand new person. Amen. Let them say what they want to say. Yes. Don't worry about your future. He that clothes the sparrows mm -hmm. and the flowers. He will watch over you. Yes. And so what you need to do is to trust God, your future, into the hands of God. Amen. And then take and enjoy your today. Ah, uh, number four, quickly. The reason why you don't have to worry is that worry is pointless. It's needless mm -hmm. and unnecessary. Mm -hmm. If God is your shepherd, and I said a shepherd's work is to do what? Come on. What is the work of a shepherd? I just said it. Three things. Meet your needs. He leads. Yes. And he feeds. The shepherd's need work is to lead you, feed you, and meet your needs. Yes. So if Jesus is your shepherd, your good shepherd, not like Pastor Joseph, not your man, not the arm of flesh, not the government, not the system, but Jesus, Jesus is your good shepherd and he leads you and he feeds you and he meets your needs. What is the point of worrying? Mm. Am I talking to somebody?
somebody here. Mm. So that tells me worrying you know. is what? Pointless and useless. Mm. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy that this time, this year, you will not worry. You know when you worry, you know what you're doing. I've written down here. Worry is taking responsibility that God never intended for you to have. That is very true. When you worry, you are taking the responsibilities that God never intended for you to have. I'm worried for my, about my car. Mm -hmm. God never intended that you should worry about your car. Mm -hmm. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 6 verse 30, it says, if God clothes the, the grass, in the field mm -hmm. that are useless. Burn the fire. Why won't he take care of you? Mm -hmm. Look at me, you that is sitting down here. If God has given you salvation, why won't he take care of the rest? Yes. Am I talking to somebody yes. here? Please, there's nothing that you are facing that I have not gone through. I have lost my son before. Mm. I have lost my man. So I've, I've experienced death. Yes. Are you talking, are you understanding me? Mm. There's no cleaning work that I have not done on this land. I've seen pain. But the only thing that I have not seen is God going against his word. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. He is faithful. God will do what he says he will do. God will do what he says he will do. Everything that God has said, it will come to pass. Somebody say amen. Because of time, I will end here and next week I will continue. Worry is not necessary. And so let us stop worrying so that we can enjoy the little blessings that we are getting every day. Yes. Somebody say, I will stop worrying. I will stop worrying. Have I said something to somebody here? This year, Keep smiling. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. Hey! 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 This year, you will overcome. This year, you will not worry. Be anxious about. Be anxious about. But in all things, with prayer and supplication, let your request be known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall be your. your way one more time next week it's the same time time with papa jay if this message has been a blessing to you make sure you like it make sure you subscribe to the channel and you share it with your family time with papa jay every first day stay blessed I can't